Thank you so much, everyone, and welcome back. I truly hope that wherever you are today, you are fully elevated or on your way to that elevation. We all have a choice to take this walk lifted. It's up to you how you choose to take that walk. I want to share a message with you today. Uh, It's a two-part message. The first part is whatever you make, you will take. And the second part of the message is everything that's done in the shadows, all that is done in the shadows will be brought, necessarily brought to the light. I just heard some disturbing news and follow me closely because this one is a real shocker. Um, uh, A woman who has been um, under care in a nursing home for the last decade. She's 29 years old, 29 years old in Arizona and comatose, not responsive, just gave birth to a little boy. Let me repeat it so you can follow. A woman who's been comatose for the last several years, residing in a nursing care setting, just gave birth. Now you're with me. How could that happen? It could only happen one way. There's only one explanation. She was horrifically violated. Horrifically violated. Uh, The courts have just ordered DNA testing of all the men who uh, have worked or are working at the facility uh, over the last year. And my prayer, and believe me when I say it, I pray for swift. I pray for swift and exact justice because that act was born of evil. Can you imagine, can you imagine the moment, the moment that this individual just conceived of such a treacherous and sick deed? And I'm sure he reasoned with himself, I have privacy. I can do what I want to do. I can pleasure myself, relieve myself, and no one will be any the wiser. Not so fast. Not so fast. Because it may take a minute or two. But everything that is done in the shadows, everything that is done in the shadows is coming to the light. Spiritually speaking, there is no privacy. There is no privacy. My grandfather would always say the true measure of a man or a woman is is who they are and what they do in the dark behind closed doors when no one is looking. That that is the representation. What happens there? That is the true man and that is the true woman. I say another prayer uh for this family who has without hesitation decided we will raise this child happily, we'll raise this child in love. That family is absolutely traumatized. They've been absolutely betrayed. But catch this, you cannot miss, you cannot miss the miracles, the miracles that God graces us with in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the tragedy. Never mind how the beautiful baby boy got here. He's here. That's the point. We're dealing with two separate issues. The hand of God came in. And in the middle of the mud and sludge and filth. Brought forth. an amazing and treasured blessing that I hope and pray will bring this family joy for years to come, for years to come. Whatever you make, you will take. This individual necessarily in the act that he committed which was sick, horrible, and cruel. What he made was a choice. He made the ultimate choice of disrespect, debasement, degradation. He is responsible for it. He will take it with him, hopefully to prison. And then after prison, I hope his next stop is 
uh, to go to God. See, he made that choice. The family, the family, and this woman that he violated, God bless her soul, they don't have to take, they don't have to take that degradation and that filth into their lives because they didn't make it. All they need to do is stand in the precious white light of our Heavenly Father, be rinsed, purified of the trauma, rinsed and purified of the trauma, and move on. So often, you know, most people listening, you've been violated, you've been hurt. My question for you is, did you make that choice to violate and hurt yourself? No, someone else did. So why take it? Why take the wounding, the trauma with you for the long haul? Yes, you need to heal. Yes, you need to come into balance, deal with, cope with what happened. But do you need to take it all with you on the long haul? Now, I can't think of a more tragic example of just evil and degradation what this man did, whoever he is, he's going to be caught. And I know it's going to be swift. It's the type of thing that can destroy this family for a lifetime. It's a type of thing that could plunge anyone into darkness. If, if, you're not able to sit with yourself and really very spiritually, logically, intellectually, and emotionally say, I didn't, I didn't make this. I didn't make this evil. So I, I refuse it. I rebuke the evil. But I will darn sure embrace the good that is offered to me as a result. That is God's silver lining. It's offered every time. Well, Sheila, every time, every single time in all degradation and evil acts, there is a silver lining offered. It's up to us to take it. There is a transformation available. There is a circumstance that has been moved or shifted. Will you choose to take it or will you choose to take what you didn't make? If you didn't make the evil, you didn't make the degradation, don't take it. Take what is offered. Look for the silver lining. It is there every single time. As for what is done in the shadows, this I'm very clear on. This I'm very clear on. All the shadow moments, all the shadow moments, and all of us have had them, in varying degrees, all the shadow moments, we will be held to account. We will be held to account. We are who we are, not just in the light of day when everything is sparkling, but we also, we are the person, we are the people. We are our behavior, our thoughts, deeds, and gestures. In the shadow moments, let's all choose to live liberated. Please pray for this woman who was violated and her family. And let's choose to take a lifted walk. This has been Inspirational Shorts with Sheila. Thank you so much. I'll connect with you soon.